the grey area of content moderation. This presentation will provide an outline surrounding the grey areas of content moderation within the age of social media. Content moderation on media platforms is vital to controlling what we see and what we don't. But to what extent are these platforms controlling what exactly they want us to see? The algorithms on platforms such as Twitter and Facebook are relatively vague and are open to many interpretations. If only it was simple as turning the lights on and off to what we, what we want to see and what we don't. However, this topic is much more complex than it may seem. Moderation of content will almost always have two sides as to what is removed and what stays. Although the thought of a platform with no rules is enticing, it is simply impossible. Platforms must moderate and in doing so have to abide by their rules to avoid any scrutiny or legal action. The rules of moderation on platforms are always responding and engaging due to contemporary societal issues. These could be content such as violence, nudity, hate speech, obscenity, etc. Researching the issues of content moderation and gathering a range of sources has allowed a greater understanding to further dive into whilst undertaking the visual essay. Tarleton Gillespie's book of Custodians of the Internet, Platforms, Content Moderation and the Hidden Decisions that so Shape Social Media provides great insight into how media platforms such as Facebook, Twitter and Instagram approach their content moderation processes. It also expresses issues that they have faced regarding public outrage over indiscriminate dis decisions regarding individual posts on their platforms. Gillespie provides a key statement that platforms may not shape public discourse, but they, the moderators, shape the sh shape of public discourse and they know it. Frederick Sternfeld's book, Your Post Has Been Removed, provides the perspective of a politician and the power that tech companies pose on freedom of speech, and provides solutions and strategies to restore control over content that we can and cannot see. Sternfeld provides an interesting quote stating, the only free cheese is in the trap, and intently alludes to the fragile nature of content moderation and societal judgment. Through the eye of a media student, I believe this area of research is of great importance to providing solutions to platforms that moderate under the conformities of modern society, whilst ensuring that they do not limit or hinder freedom of speech. In doing this, identifying problems and solutions surrounding content moderation, it will be worth going into depth within the visual essay.